settle your mind inside. And remember where your true refuge is. It's in the mind, in the goodness that you do. There's a term in Thai, Un Jai, which literally means warm-hearted. Idiomatically, it means you have a sense of security. You feel safe. As when you do good, you know that the principles of goodness are always the same. They've never changed. You want to be harmless. You want to be generous. You want to be virtuous. Develop qualities of goodwill in the mind. These things are always good. And when you take refuge in these things, you're really safe. The values of the world go up and down. Sometimes they say killing people is bad, sometimes they say it's good. How much can you trust a world like that? Even physically, the world. Look at it. It's raining right now. It's cold. In a couple of months, it's going to be really hot. Things keep changing outside. And if your goodness depends on things being easy outside, you know you can't trust yourself. So when you find that you can do good even when it's difficult, even when it's cold and rainy, you can still do good in the mind. You have a sense of confidence both in the goodness and in your own strength, your own determination that you're not going to let little obstacles like this get in the way. There are a lot of people out there who find it easy to do evil even in spite of obstacles. So we should show them that we can still do good in spite of obstacles, that there is still some goodness in the world. And whether other people will appreciate it or not, that's their business. But we know inside, deep in our hearts, that this really is good, to be generous, to be virtuous, to develop goodwill. So we can be warm-hearted about that. We can feel secure and safe, because it's in our own actions that the true refuge lies. We take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. On the external level, that means we take them as examples. We also take them as inspiration, realizing there have been good people in the world and they have found the truth, and they've passed it on to us. Now it's up to us to find that goodness inside ourselves, and we can generate it from within. Sometimes you hear the idea that an independent self is a bad thing. Well, if you can be independently good, in other words, your goodness doesn't have to depend on conditions outside, that kind of independence is something worth treasuring, something worth developing. So trying to find a sense of security and goodness, it's there. It's simply a matter of learning how to appreciate it and holding on to it in spite of obstacles. When you see yourself getting past the obstacles, you can be confident, okay, I've got some goodness in me that is not weak, that doesn't have to depend on other people being good or conditions outside being good. It's something I can give rise to from within. That's when your heart is really warm, secure, safe, confident. It's a good quality to have.